first game. Second game, yes. he, I, I wholeheartedly give it to him, but I am not that. That's it. Alrighty, so now we've got Tomo, Team 87, versus uh, Shotdown. Making a gauntlet here. Alrighty. So, so far. And I got the games mixed up. I just hit switch. Switch button. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, Bang! What a damn! What a clutch! What a clutch button! All right, wonderful. So here we see a whole lot. We see a whole lot of Sonic just kind of running around, not really trying to get into anything, but just yeah. throwing. Actually, yeah, yeah, throwing I believe this is a run back. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Shockdown is playing. Exceptionally well this turn. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Believe in the man. Uh, definitely learned it. Currently, uh, having Tomo at 140% means any good, uh, any good Nair will take him out, and uh, they're not quite going to do it. There, 183, still Very not gonna die. Yeah, beautiful DI by uh, Team 87, able to stay alive at percent. Definitely. Mm, Ooh, nice DBZ trade, and that's still not enough. Wow, neither wow. character dying. Shotgun's still on his first stock, though. This is not where uh, Tomo wants to be. Hmm, that Nair. I think he was expecting him to run in at that yeah. point. If he would have done it a little bit later, actually, it would have worked because um, because of the way down B works. The the more he charges up down B, the um, the faster the input timings are required, so the tighter the window that he can extend his uh, down B. So he might have been able to. Wow, that was some interesting. Two thirty eight. Two thirty eight. That is definitely the way you want to end your stocks. Unfortunately, you want to take some with you along the way, and that just does not seem to be a good down smash, though. Only down one stock, that's not... Yeah, I'm a very big believer in one stock is not a lead. Oh, yeah. So, he can someone pull can definitely down. pull this out, but Shockdown is just Shock going in. 80... 96% right off the bat. Mm. And he's just bullying him, bullying him back yeah. into the corner, not letting up. 96% all on the ledge. That is good at DI. And doesn't get the cancel off of it though, so it allows him to get a spike. Nice little follow up. It's so frightening to see uh, Shockdown do the, the downbeat charge in the air. Just because you know he's going to throw it, but like, if you're not aware of oh, when wow. he's going to throw it, it's just it's this constant threat that you're about to get followed up on. And you just want to hurry up and be in a position that you can uh, stuff it. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Weird, weird little mix up there. Fish for a fish for a fair here. He's trying to get something out. Ooh. Time to cancel. And that might that be it. it. No. Well, yeah, he went out there. <laughs> I feel it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is TM87 on ESS now? Uh, no. Shockbound is ESS. Yeah, because yeah, according to the bracket, you signed in as ESS. What was that? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, are they doing sign-ups right now? Oh, okay. I think I might double-check on that right now. Alright. 
I have four spires. I'm gonna step out to do sign for devils real quick. Taking over for a sec. Absolute. Um, back back into the match. Looks like TM87 still still alive at 150. He is immaculate. The eye. Is this their second set? Playing? Uh, yes. This is this is the run back from winners, I believe. And that'll do it. Shotgun hey, takes game one, and this one is best out of five. So Sonic and Lucario. Being that I have no matchup matchup knowledge, um, I wouldn't necessarily know what stage to pick, and I certainly don't want to make any judgments. Especially, um, he's Mario. Uh, no, he's uh, Tom Tomo's Lucario. Oh, Lucario, yeah. I thought you said Mario. I was like, did he switch? Three, two, he was Mario, I think, go. maybe uh, a smaller stage because Mario, his pills are also, it depends on what type of style, if he camps with pills or if he's a rushdown. Yeah. So. Thought. Uh, this slick. Definitely. I mean, this is Sonic's home turf, man. Yeah, Shotgun's gonna step it up real quick. And right as I say that, good job. <laughs> what song is playing? I think Shotgun won the game, her first game. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I hit the button, I didn't hit that dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so right now they're, they're not really, it's not really very heavy combo based, especially after those high percent so you go on for It's more neutral right yeah, now. Yeah, very, very neutral. And now, and now we're back to even two stops at least. Let's see. Yeah, to, to me and in in these matchups especially, uh, it's all about the first big opening, especially at the low percent. Especially if um, Lucario has a bunch of ferrets or a lot of aura, right? and Shotgun have played in the past, like, more than once. I haven't really been to many tournaments, no, so... Like, I believe, I believe these, these guys have played each other enough to where they know how they how each other play. But, what an edge guard. Ooh, that was, that was cool. Going for a jump read. Yeah, jump read. Yeah. Tomo would do exactly. Yeah. Alright, one stock piece. Tomo can definitely still do this. Relative percents are virtually even, so to speak.
Well, I have to step off. I have to play set. Bye. Okay. And Tomo could not, could not make that run back. Two. Show click shockdown is going to go 2 0 in the set. This is the best out of five. Where are we going to go next? I'm back. Uh, my name isn't on the screen, but I'm not picky. Oh, at least. Am I already? Alright. Okay. See that? Tomo was sponsored by ESS. I'm not entirely sure, because I thought he was, uh, Tomo was u -dub. Yeah. There's not a lot of places for food around here. There's a he's else is bomb. There's a wing stop, I wanna say about a mile from here. Oh, damn, all right. Since a week or two ago? Uh okay. I I I again. What's up? I want to Oh, that's right. TR Wonder is here. Thank you. Of course, of course. Alright, game three here. Shockdown Tomo, TM87. This is the home attack, unfortunately. I didn't see the other two games, but right here, it doesn't look like he could have had a two command of relief since uh, TM87 is holding his own. So, definitely. Unless he figured something out set uh, before we came on, I'm assuming this has been a pretty close set. It is the run back. That was a very dangerous upbeat. One knock away. Loser's finals. But yeah. Ooh. Take it easy. Alright, he's trying to set three to two. This guy's just moving around trying not to get hit. Yeah. He's caught by that bear and suddenly shockbound is going in. Ooh, that almost looked good until he got interrupted by that little bear. Yeah. I don't know much about these characters honestly, but uh, uh so um Lucario obviously can cancel his attacks into other attacks. There's a set pattern to him, so uh, like normals being like lights can cancel into like tilts, into smashes, into specials, yeah, into jumps and down beats. Um, ooh, oh wow, okay, so uh, Shockbound finally making it, back, making it back up. That almost looked like he would have uh, SD'd there. Uh, Sonic uh, being able to cancel his uh, down B, they're able to jump out of his down B, as well as charge it up, which is called, uh, which has an active hitbox. Ooh, that's so. What happened there? Uh, what happened there? Lucario uh, upbeat into the ledge, and because of the fact um, Lucario's hitbox is kind of radial in the sense that it will send you away, um, Sonic was on the bottom end of get of uh, Lucario, so he just got thrown down. And uh, yeah. game three goes to. T uh, TM87. It's no use. <laughs> but yeah, um, the key thing about Sonic is that Sonic is very capable of making, is basically Sonic can change his entire momentum on a dime um, from just about anywhere in the stage. Very, um, if you watch my match, um, he loves to hang around the area um, just around and apply pressure in that sense. As you see here, he never strays too far away. Um, very good pressure here. Yeah, he's just, uh, it's almost uh, reminiscent of Fox and Melee, at least to me. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get in on and put as many attacks out as possible. Definitely, you want to be throwing out lots of hitboxes. Um, the problem being is that a lot of his moves 
there are a lot of Sonic's moves um, that can't be jump canceled out of because either because the conditions haven't been met or you just can't jump cancel out of them. They're relatively un unsafe on block. So like um, Sonic side B, he can cancel it into a um, into like this kick move that auto cancels um, whenever he slides off of the ledge. But if he hits it on block, he's there for that's it's basically a free grab. Good up throw. Yeah. That's the down air spike. I just learned today that that is in fact a spike. Um, oh, okay. if he sweet spots it. All right. Which basically means he has to hit it right as the move comes out, similar to uh, Game and Watch's down air. Good down smash. Ooh, gets on the right side of that spring in order to get knocked towards the stage. And up air, that will in fact kill. <laughs> Showing off a little bit there with the down airs on the spring. Yeah. Spring dare is actually, it's surprisingly useful, just because most people don't know, well, one, most people don't know what to do around it, and um, also because if at any point he feels the need, he can just change to a different aerial and just kind of peace out. Ooh. Ooh, oh man. He's edge guard. He's edge guard. And he gets back anyways. Yeah, so Shockbound went for the homing attack there just to try and keep him to go down and then tried to bring him down again with the Rascal. That's the charge down beat. Yes, hence the, the, the tag. This tag is very appropriate for their character. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like Tomo's use of the Japanese characters on that. It's creative, you don't see that uh, very often the mixture of the two. Yeah, I think my favorite one is uh, when you use the Japanese characters to make a sword. Oh, really? I yeah. haven't seen that. Uh, I saw it a few times uh, in some old melee footage. Uh, I don't remember which ones they are in particular, but... Well, Shockbound's keeping this really close, though. Uh, this could be uh, Tomo's tournament game, and it's almost his tournament stock if uh, Shockbound can just get a little bit more here, which he might right now. Uses up not all of the aura charge. Oh no, he's still got one charge. And so yeah, um, Lucario is capable of charging aura by gaining attacks. He also can um, hold his up taunt, but he takes damage from that. Uh, about five damage per tick. And he can store two charges, which he can expend to buff his up B, or his uh, specials. Um, up and down B allow him to cancel into any move freely. Side B becomes a kill grab, both grounded and um, in the air, although in the air, instead of it being just a straight down, it's a semi-spike, uh, similar to I don't know, Tip or Dare on Mark. Yeah. Um, and then um, his, if you haven't seen it, obviously the, the neutral B spirit bomb. Yeah. Uh, very good for edge guarding here on the, with the spirit bomb. It covers every option that isn't a sweet spot if you throw it properly, if you space it properly. But you need to get him off the edge first, and that seems to be a little bit of a struggle right now. Yeah, no. Shotgun's going for all of the pressure. Just both players trying to hit and not get hit, and now someone gets hit. And on air. <laughs> all it takes. And suddenly, are we going to see the the next reverse 3-0 that Tomo has done today? Although that one's 75 percent. Oh. And we're on, but he's on his tournament stock, tournament so he, stock. he has to be careful here. Now, I would argue that um, Lucario has uh, more kill options than Sonic. Um, the problem is, is that Sonic has all of the mobility, so getting that final hit is going to be oh, absolutely could key. Could this be it? Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that is it! Just, that is a crazy end. Shocked out. That was an amazing game. Takes the last hit off of a rascal. What is up, Pikmon? Welcome.